Ah, okay, uh, this is uh, a Walking Dead review, the episode entitled Us. So, um, this episode, uh, and the, uh, the title Us is a very fitting, um, name for it. Basically, uh, this episode mostly focuses on Daryl and his exploits with the bandits, and then, um, on, uh, uh, Glenn and Tara and their travels with Abraham, Eugene, and I forget the other girl's name, but with that group, that's th th what they're about. And so, um, basically, and there's also a little bit of Rick Carl Michonne, and I'll talk about that first, because it's literally like two minutes worth of stuff, where you see Rick Carl Michonne, they're walking on the train tracks towards Terminus, and, um, kind of, it seems like a small thing, but, uh, uh, Carl and Michonne split what's called a uh, candy bar and they put the wrapper on the train tax and that becomes a big thing later but um with uh, Glenn and Tara's story they're still going after uh, Maggie and they see one of the Terminus signs and it says Glenn go to Terminus Maggie and so Glenn kind of just takes off and so um you know they're, they're trying to figure out what to do and so um after a little while through the journey you know um Abraham still wants to take Eugene to Washington, D.C. because they think he has the cure, um, you know, and, st and stuff like that. But, um, conversely, also, um, you know, we see Tara has a, has, like, I guess a crush on the other girl. I mean, Tara is, you know, uh, I guess she's a lesbian, so it's a, you know, I, I, I kind of saw that one coming, but, um, they, they come upon a tunnel, and, um, they, and they, uh, and they see that it's blocked, and they can hear walkers in it. And so, uh, Tara and Glenn go through the tunnel while Abraham and them, they, they go back. And when they go back, they, they see people. And it's kind of revealed who that is later. And so, um, they, Glenn and Tara go through the tunnel, and they see that there's, there was a cave in, and there's, like, walkers trapped, and there's, like, a huge horde of walkers on the other side. And while they're trying to climb over, uh, Tara's leg gets caught uh, under rubble. And so... She wants. She tells Glenn to go. He says, "I'm gonna stay and fight." And he starts shooting, and then uh, a car pulls up, and like eight people just unload, or probably somewhere maybe like eight, but but, but actually it's like six people like unload into the horde, and it turns out that Abraham and his crew had met up somehow met up with Maggie, Sasha, and Bob, and so uh, uh, Glenn and Maggie are reunited, and so they're hanging out in the in the tunnel, and they burn. Glenn's uh, photo of Maggie because she's like you. You won't need a photo of me ever again. I, I thought that was just a. I I just thought that was a that, that was a nice moment. And then they they continue walking and Abraham and Eugene and their groups decide that they're going to go to Terminus. They're going to get resupplied and then maybe they're going to try to go and then they're going to try to make their their go to Washington D.C. Um, and Daryl, we find out he's still with the bandits and he's trying to adjust their way of life. They 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 hide a pseudo. Um, civilized way of life where all you have to do is claim something. If you claim something, it's yours, and that's kind of how basic it is. And so the only rules with it are don't lie, and you know you take what you claim, and don't steal. And so Daryl's trying to adjust this life. He gets an argument with the one guy over a rabbit or a squirrel, one of the two. I think it's a rabbit. I think it's a yeah. I think it's a rabbit. And. uh and the guy starts talking about Beth, kind of. He's like, oh, you must be, you, you look like you lost a woman, you know. You must have been, you know, she ain't going to last. And then Daryl almost pulls a knife on him. And then they stay at a garage, and Daryl goes to sleep. And then the guy who's giving him problems, because uh, when they got the rabbit, they just split it in half to solve the issue. And the guy who's giving him problems, he's like, hey, I don't have my half of the rabbit. So they check Daryl's bag, and there's his half of the rabbit. And Daryl says, you know, I didn't put that there. You know, I didn't steal it. And the, the leader, he's like, okay, he says that, and the other guy says, I didn't put it there. And they then proceed to beat that guy up, and he says, yeah, I saw him do it, but you told the truth, he lied. You understand the rules, he doesn't. That's kind of the guy's exact words. And then when Daryl wakes up the next day, they, he finds, he sees that they, they killed the guy. They shot him in the face with arrows. And uh, they talk about, and then they, they see that they're walking on train tracks, and they see the Terminus sign. And he's like, yeah, we're going to Terminus. And I was like, and Daryl asked why, and he said, well, they were staying in this house, and some guy uh, strangled their friend so that he would get turned, 
until and to to the point where he would get turned and then you know ran off so they had to fight him and so they're, they're tracking him and you, if you remember that was rick so they're talking about rick so they're tracking rick to terminus and uh so the whole thing with the show and carl dropping the thing they find it and so they know they're on the right path to, to try to find him so i assume that's going to be a huge part of the the season finale next week is is that i, I don't know what's going to happen it's going to be really weird and interesting to see that but um uh, i noticed with a lot of my reviews i haven't really talked uh what, what what you know the the meaning with the episode is and and so I'll start doing that with with a lot more of my reviews now as even I know it's like there's only like three TV reviews that I'm doing left but I figure might as well get started now. Um, the whole us thing is kind of learning how to work as a group. You know, Daryl's learning how to to live in this group. He he doesn't want to be in there for long, but he's learning how to uh, how to move about this group, how to act because you know he he can't treat it the same as he did Rick's group. You know. They're different people, and he's he can't be the same. And then, also on the flip side, it's it's Glenn and Tara and Abraham and Eugene and the girl. Again, I don't remember her name. I'm sorry. It's and she's a minor character anyway. Um, they're learning that their goals kind of are the same. You know, they Glenn just wanted to find Maggie, and then I guess they're going to go to Terminus, and then. You know, Abraham, they, you know, he just wants to save the world, but he, you know, they need supplies. So they, they become under a common goal of, all right, Terminus is, is, is the prize right now. They, they kind of unite and they create a group. So there is an us there. They work as a cohesive unit. And so that's what this episode's kind of about, is about building these maybe possibly temporary units. And then I'm going to say something about the the preview for next week at least the way it looks it looks like it's gonna be like terminus is in what what it seems like at least it seems like it's a dark place because i mean it shows rick getting all bloody beaten up and all kinds of stuff and it's just i don't know i can see a lot going on. i could see the next week's episode basically being like how the the mid-season finale was and things just kind of go to crap so um yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's about all I'm gonna say for this. So uh, you know, hope you enjoy and uh, bye.